Welcome to Presidium Tourism Terminal 3. Here in the finance offer various goods and services to their exclusive clientele. The statue you see before you was commissioned to honor the Krogan soldiers who gave their lives to protect Citadel's. In the aftermath of the Krogan rebellions, Citadel Space opened up mass relays leading to systems controlled by the Rachni. A highly intelligent and aggressive insect race, the Rachni unleashed a war of conquest against the rest of the galaxy that lasted for nearly three centuries. The emergence of the Krogan finally turned the tide in favor of the Citadel species. Krogan forces provided the numbers necessary to halt the Rachni advance and drive them back. The Krogan then pursued their retreating fleets. Able to survive the harsh environments of the Rachni homeworlds, the Krogan hunted their enemy to extinction. Was it really necessary to wipe them out? I am sorry, but a value judgment of that nature goes beyond my programming. Why did the Council fight so hard to keep the statue? The Krogan were instrumental in saving the galaxy from the Rachni threat. The Council believed this historical fact should not be forgotten. The Council also hoped that preserving the memorial would improve diplomatic relations with the Krogan and bring about a peaceful resolution to the rebellions. Unfortunately, the Krogan refused to negotiate and only surrendered after their population and homeworlds had been ravaged by the Turians. Sounds like they got what they deserved. I am sorry, but a value judgment of that nature goes beyond my programming. Tell me more about the Krogan rebellions. In recognition of their efforts during the Rachni Wars, the Krogan were granted several new colony worlds by the Council. Over the next 400 years, the Krogan species began to expand. Blessed with an extremely high birth rate, their numbers began to swell. Faced with a critical overpopulation crisis, the Krogan started a violent colonization of nearby worlds inhabited by other Council species. The Krogan rebellions had begun. For a full century, the Council and its member species fought to bring the Krogan under control. With the aid of the newly discovered Turian Empire, they were ultimately successful. You needed the Krogan to stop the Rachni. Then you needed the Turians to stop the Krogan. So... I am sorry, but that question is beyond my programming Pearl Council. They are not a threat to galactic peace. That's all for now. Thank you for using Avena. Have a pleasant day. Hello, Spectre. I have a business proposition for you. I've got plenty to do already. Of course you do. But this would be easy work for you, and I pay extremely well. I'm acquainted with a pair of powerful crime bosses. They're hiding on remote worlds, and I have the coordinates. You could do the galaxy a favor. What kind of defenses would these two have? I haven't the faintest idea, but they're certain to be armed. Their partnership soured, and each believes that the other intends to kill him. They will be well prepared. I have no intention of attempting to murder you. You are the first human specter, and you are doing important work for humanity. I have no interest in red sand or slavery. Anyone who does deserves to die. Our needs are aligned. And what do you get out of this? It's in certain cooperative ventures. But their business practices have forced me to terminate our relationship. Once they are dead, I will manage our organization in a more tasteful manner. What crimes did these men commit? They're red sand dealers who make victims of their customers. Those who can no longer pay are sold to Batarians as slaves. They're loathsome, hurting innocent people. They must be ended.
You're obviously with them. Why don't I just arrest you instead? Arrested for what? You and I are simply having a conversation. I have excellent legal representation. Arresting me would be a waste of your time. If they're as bad as you say they are, they need to be dealt with. Excellent. Here are the coordinates. When these men are dead, I will wait for you at the third set of coordinates. Goodbye, Commander. It's been a pleasure to meet you. Commander, I've been waiting for you to get back. I've got an idea, and I wanted to run it by you. I've got a lot going on right now, but I can spare a moment. Great! This will just take a minute. With so many human colonies being attacked, I'm not sure that one specter is enough. What if... You signed me on as another Spectre. Why would you want to be a Spectre, Conrad? Because I wanted to show the Council what humanity can do, just like you. I'd make a great Spectre. I want to be with you, fighting the good fight like you did on Elysium during the Skillian Blitz. This is what the Blitz felt like, Conrad. You like it? What? No, please. Please don't hurt me. Why are you doing this? Because you're not a soldier, Conrad. You can't handle this. Go home. I thought you were a hero. Heroes don't do things like this. I wish I'd never met you. Celebrations are being planned for the anniversary of the end of the Rachni Wars. Many Council worlds, particularly Asari and Solarian colonies, will hold victory parades to commemorate the defeat of the invading Rachni. In a rare admission of debt, several Asari colonies have invited Krogans to be honored for the victories the uplifted Krogans made possible. Logged. The commanding officer is aboard. 
Exo Presley stands relieved. Thank <laughs> you. 